Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, hey friends. So, welcome back. So, real quick. We got a couple of weeks left in 2020. Now, this goes for everything. Return policies. Return policies for your business. Return policies. That's why I like Shopify because Shopify, you know, has a way for you to be compliant. Um, you know, with the banks and, you know, the, the policies and procedures and the laws. So returning. So if you're a small business, you know, as a small business, of course, you don't want any returns. Of course, you don't want any chargebacks. But, you know, people do it all the time anyway. But if you have a no return policy. So let's just say, for instance, my onesies, there's no returns. <laughs> there's no returns because onesies got to touch your vagina it got to touch your underarms it got to touch your breast it has to touch your behind okay those are all intimate areas i don't want no onesies back in my warehouse or my house i don't want any more onesies back in my once you buy it there's no return. Now, here's how this works. If you sell clothes or anything, guys, anything. This goes for really anything. Being that we're in COVID, this, we're in this pandemic, guys, you don't know who you're sending it to. You don't know who you're, where it's going. You don't know who is getting it. You don't know if these people had, you know, COVID before. So you're really risking, you're taking a risk by taking products back. Okay, so on your website, guys, make sure it says no returns, no refunds. Now, will people can still call a bank and say, oh, I didn't get my product or, you know, oh, I didn't like it. Or, of course, people can do that. But that's why you have on your website, no refunds, no returns. And why? And then also, too, a way for people to click that says, that says I agree to the terms and conditions of this store or the uh, I agree to the terms and the condition of this website right so now people are agreeing that if I buy this or does it fit or I don't like it or whatever the case is I can't return it right so you make people agree right so in this pandemic guys whether you're selling hair or nails or you know, onesies, women's clothes, shoes, AirPods, cell phone cases, whatever it is, guys, and you're selling it over the internet and someone actually gets it and they want to return it. I'm not doing any returns. It's a risk. COVID's a risk. You don't know if that person had COVID. You don't know if it, they've been around COVID. You don't know. So you comes back. Now your stuff got COVID on it. You got COVID. You don't even know why right so make sure guys when you're doing business remember there will be returns there will be people that may do a chargeback you know whatever it is you know a 20 dollars chargeback 30 i heard of a person doing a 75 cent return before like wow 75 cents <laughs> so make sure this is in your website guys and that you're compliant with this because if not you could be out here selling stuff as a small business. And chargebacks is a billion dollar business also too. So that's why even with Amazon, if you're a customer and you do too many returns and you do too many refunds and chargebacks and stuff, they shut your account down, right? Because it's too much of a headache, even with the onesies. You know what I'm saying? If you order a onesie from Amazon, you try to return it, they don't even take it. They don't take it. <laughs> they don't even take it, guys. Right, so you want to be careful with your returns. You want to be careful, um, you know, with you know, with understanding what you're selling. You can sell anything, but just be careful, knowing that all right, well, somebody may do a charge back, or you know, somebody may want their money back, or you know, you got to just have reserve. As a small business, it's hard to have reserves because when you first started, you're just trying to get your business off the ground. So if you're selling. 200 items in a month and then you get like you know maybe eight returns that can hurt your business right that can hurt your business that's why customer service as a small black business is everything 
right? Because we already have the stigma of, oh, black businesses ain't shit. Oh, black businesses got terrible, um, you know, terrible customer service. You know, all these different things. And, you know, black business don't ship on time or they don't, sh whatever. So have good customer service, but also have your shit in order, right? I can't tell you guys how many small businesses fail, whether you're doing a brick and mortar or you're doing a click to order, right? Online business or a business offline, a store. I cannot tell you how many businesses fail, right? How many businesses fail? Bad customer service, their websites and things are not compliant. They don't have return policies, all these different things. And it's very, very sad to see black business fail soon as they start. A year later, they're done. Two weeks later, they're done. 30 days later, they're done. Like how did this happen, right? So just be compliant, right, with the laws and, you know, making sure you have good customer service. Now, of course, you know, some customers, you know, they just outrageous, <laughs> they crazy, but handle your business like a business owner and not like a hobby, okay? Handle your business, take care of everything. You handle the, the problematic people first and you deal with the other people later, right? You deal with the problematic people first and you deal with the other people later. So for me, also too, I don't get a lot of returns. I don't get a lot of chargebacks. I don't, right? But at the same time too, that doesn't mean I won't, right? So I just got to make sure my ducks is in order. I got to make sure, you know, I'm securing my bag too, right? So all of these different things come to play, come into play, you know, when you're building a business or trying to start a business and get a business off the ground up and running, guys. So make sure that your returns and your return policy, guys, is up to date. You know, because if not, you got people buying from you and that same person keep that item and then you still got to refund them. Now you just lost. Now you say, fuck it, I'm done with this shit. You know, then you lose. So go to workwithtanisha.com. Follow me on Instagram at onesiequeens and Coach Tanisha Marie. See you guys soon.